There is something magical and special about cooking with fire. Oh, this is something that I learned from my grandmother who cooked in a wood-fired cook stove her entire life. Brendan, if you and I had to do this for a living, we go hungry. It's all hand-graded shrimp we do here. Oh. You're throwing the fish in there, John. Come on, man. I'll mess it up. Fire. Sorry, Captain. This is a great cheese. It's handmade by Dr. Pat Elliott in Rapidan, Virginia. This cheese is very aged. Well, I think she goes for at least six months, but it looks like this went longer. It's very natural for a falcon to chase birds, kind of like a cat would chase a mouse. What we're basically doing is a conditioning program on all the birds in the area. We've had balloons, streamers, noisemakers of all kinds. Not one of them has been as effective as the falcon. Show me some of those purple rain. Oh, man, look at that. Gorgeous. That is a gorgeous looking egg. Well, it's a long day onion, so it needs to be planted really early, and then it takes its time, and then like any good Italian, they're just ornery. You want fruit that has seeds in it, like concords. Yeah, which those do well, right? The beer ate them all. No. Yeah, all the concords are gone. Does that one look good? Yeah. OK. Amazing. Yeah. Where do you grow them? Camarillo. Uh, I might even have another. How did you find out about all this stuff that's edible? You know, I was a forestry major in college. Forestry major? Uh-huh. So really, spending a lot of time in the uh, woods anyways. Yeah, I always loved trees and plants. And then, uh... Do you ever hug the trees? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I think this may be the end of the mushrooms here. Okay. Lordy, lordy, look over there. Where? Look, look, look. Oh, I see, see them. Yellow, yellow, There's yellow. There's three there. Over there. You got a good eye. How did you see those? Yellow? You Can't just like... you see the yellow? Just notice them, huh? So your fat's all coming from the pork butt itself? Exactly. Cotechino needs skin in Italian. You have nice choppy skins. <laughs> I'll not bother. <laughs> I haven't cut a finger off in a few years, so I feel great. And can I get my hands in there? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we mix everything here by hand. I'm gonna shake the bees off of there. Oh yeah, that's always good. We have a little bit of honey in here, and we'll get a little of that fresh honey in out of here, and you can just take that in your finger and Give that a try. Mm. It's very floral. Tastes like apple blossoms. Oh. Tastes like flowers. Yep. Okay. It's a beautiful thing. Wow. I tried to pick a couple of wines that were available all over the country. Right. Typical Northwest Chardonnay, good color. Any anything else that se separates it from? Yeah, I think Washington Chardonnays definitely stand apart, maybe even more than the reds from California wines. Oh, I've got some strange gourds. Uh, <laughs> Crown of thorn gourds. Ooh, what's that? It's over here somewhere. You know, they look like those sunburst squash. They, they do. And you can tell they got some of the pollination. Yeah. All of these things are well, open that is crazy looking. Oh. Just a oh. second light. This is my version of heaven. <laughs> you poor soul. <laughs> See, now the reason we keep the cave dark is because the molds grow totally out of control if there's light in here all the time. Alternative, we have good uh, alternatives in, in America now, right? Absolutely. There's so many wonderful I mean, American just... caviars now. There are five or six that really hold their own. They're sustainable. We've done it for about uh, 14 or 15 years. How many plums do you get off one tree? 200. 218. Yeah. Exactly 218. So you didn't see that? Sure. Asian plums. It's called a Satsuma. Satsuma plums. Unbelievable. It looks like a blood plum. Yes, I think Satsuma means blood plum. Does that what it means? Cantonese. If you say Satsuma on your menu, then everyone will order it. Great flavor, huh? Dad likes plums. Nice sweet. Dad likes plums. Can I have another one? No. You can have the maize like. They're natural al algae, and there are a variety of different uh, species here. You nice see the, colors. The different algae apply different nutritional needs that you'll find at the different larval stages. These are all plants. Yes, these are, these are actually very small phytoplankton. phytoplankton. Several cells chained together. Very cool. You can see one carrot produces a lot of seeds. We'll probably get 75 seed packs from one carrot. That's just incredible. We have to cut them out of the field and then we dry them. And then we use certain machines to get the seeds off of the seed head. We're probably some of the most fortunate people in the world out here. We get to be out here. We get to be doing what we love. We get to be doing what we've grown up doing. I honestly feel like I've never had a job in my life. I'm doing exactly what I love to do. A lot of people aren't that fortunate. Yep.